Fine, Richard, you can talk now. In a world, in this year, 2011, when I am faced with the fact that the art world, internationally, is basically about the false avant-garde. Here I am quoting Tadeusz Kantor and, in a way, Joseph Boyce, the two great artists uh, that I worked with, and possibly another great artist, Paul Niagara. They were not makers of false avant-gardism. Their work was full of love and concern for the human condition. And all of them said to me, you will probably live to cope with the problem of the false avant-garde because it will overwhelm the world. False avant-gardism has one important feature and that is it lacks the manifestation of that important energy which comes from human beings, from the heart, the human heart. And here I have it. I love the title, In Transitu. And I love the fact it's made by a, an artist who represents Europe because she's both Irish and Italian <laughs> by virtue of her name. And she is also someone who is committed to the idea that Boyce made clear that everyone is an artist. Every human being on the planet, if you think about them long enough, has the capacity to make art, to be creative. Here we have some amazing, extraordinary women causing me to rethink the whole idea of certain words. My name is Anna Rita, one of them says, and the word I chose is fear. One and a half years ago, I had a very serious hemorrhage due to uterine fibroids, and since then, I've always been afraid it will start up again. I am Mattia, and what I have chosen is thank God. Why thank God? Because thanks to him, I came into the world. I have a wonderful family, a husband who loves me, and children who adore me. I thank God because I have never gone without anything. He allowed me to reach the age of 40, full of joy and free of pain. Thanks to him, if I look around me, I only see beautiful and positive things. Now, how many artists can make such a statement? There is a wonderful critic uh, who exists, perhaps my favorite uh, in all the world, and she is capable of writing the most amazingly clear uh, concepts of what true art is. She is called Sister and Selma Scollard, and she has uh, a tremendous track record as an artist and as an art historian, but she's now decided to devote her life to prayer. She is in a monastery as a Cistercian nun, following the rule of St. Benedict. I've got to send her this Im information. And I probably want to send her the film <laughs> that's being made now. And I need her to t write about your work because I feel, as I am really addressing I suppose one of the artists who's giving me hope, Virginia Ryan Eatso. Because I think now I can see that this work has to be part of the exhibition I am planning for Brussels, for the European Parliament, for all those parliamentarians in Europe who must take seriously how art can be at the very heart and center of human beings' lives. I love this statement. My name is Maria, and my word is Mama. Deep blue sea, infinite and unique love, life teacher and source of wisdom. Mother has always 
Mother always ready to help, to give and forgive. Mama, an easy word to pronounce, as our first, that unique and irreplaceable person, always willing to sacrifice herself for the good of others, to help, give and forgive. I cannot imagine that words like this are associated with what you call contemporary art. It's not possible. 